Hi, everyone. I'm Dr. Susan Brown, director of the Center for Better Bones. As you all know, we here at the Center for Better Bones have spent decades exploring the best natural ways to maintain and rebuild bone health. We've looked at many modalities, and while we specialize in nutrition here at the Center for Better Bones, one of my favorite modalities, the modality that I call the only magic bullet in medicine, is homeopathy. And today, we have the great fortune of having one of the, actually two of the world's leaders in homeopath, in homeopathic medicine. These leaders happen to be here in New York, lecturing to other doctors about homeopathic medicine, and they offered to spend a little bit of time talking with me. So I want to introduce you to Dr. Joshi and her husband have a very famous homeopathic clinic in India. And as I mentioned, they come to the US and all around Europe to lecture. And she's offered to talk to us today a bit about homeopathy, the nature of homeopathy, and even go into a little bit what you can, what you might be thinking about in bone health, how homeopathic remedies and how working with a homeopath could help with bone health. So first off, Dr. Joshi, thanks so much for being with us. So Dr. Joshi, just tell us a little bit um, about homeopathy. How does it work? What's, what's, what kind of a medicine is it? I, I've always known it was an energy medicine, but can you give us some more details? Right. So, um, you know, uh, homeopathy, as the name suggests, homeo and pathy. Mm -hmm. So homeo means similar. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, now, the way it works is that it actually does not antidote or it does not go against your body, but it allows your body to heal itself. Right. Um, let me put it like this, that... Uh, if, if you want to say treat diarrhea, right? Mm -hmm. Then in the regular conventional medicine, you would give something that causes constipation or something right. that, that reduces the bowel movement. Mm -hmm. Now the way homeopathy works is it gives you remedies that actually in a healthy state can produce diarrhea. So when a person with diarrhea actually has the pills, it cures by the law of similars, which means it just nudges your, what we call as the vital force or the energy in the body so that the body actually starts to push in the right direction and then gets healed. I see. So that's why we always think of homeopathy is like healing, like yeah. the situation of using that, that, that property in a very low dose to stimulate the body to a healthy response. Exactly. And one of the important things here is that the remedies, yeah, mm -hmm. they have been tested not on animals, on human mm -hmm. beings, on doctors. So when we are homeopathic doctors, a part of our schooling also uh -huh. involves what we call as drug proving or double blind drug proving, which is very similar to what you do in conventional uh -huh. medicine. And we've taken drugs to see what symptoms they can cause and therefore what symptoms they can cure. So you actually take the remedies themselves. You test the remedies to see what symptoms they cause. You know, that's a whole fascinating, that's so fascinating and it's so much different than how we think in here in Western medicine. So over the years, they've developed many types of remedies for many disorders. Right. And they're all based on a principle of an energy frequency, a small frequency of energy and information that is then that is given to the patient in the form of this remedy. Right. So it's really the energy pattern. Yeah. Energy the, remedy, pattern. the remedy has an energy pattern and that pattern is similar to the energy pattern of the person suffering from the same problem. And when the two frequencies match, yeah, the body goes into a healing process, or I would say the body is stimulated to heal itself. So I see. I would also use the word that homeopathy is therefore very empowering medicine. So tell me about that. How is, how is it empowering medicine? It, it kind of empowers the body to heal itself. Now, not only physically, yes, because mm -hmm. when we're talking of energy patterns, we're also talking of the psyche and the patterns of the psyche. So when we do the diagnosis of a patient, we not only look at the diagnosis clinically in terms of this is the pathology and these are the symptoms, right. but we also do a personality diagnosis. Let's say this is a person 
who has a lot of anxiety, or this is a person who is a perfectionist, or this is a person who is uh, maybe anxious about how people think about him, mm-hmm, or mm-hmm. a person who's sensitive to loneliness. I'm just giving you simple examples. So not only do you have a physical symptom and a physical diagnosis, but you also have an emotional diagnosis of the personality of the patient and the remedies also have these energy patterns in the psyche. So when the human being takes the remedy, the homeopathic remedy, not only does the body get stimulated to heal itself, but the mind gets stimulated to heal itself. So it's very, you know, in my last 22 years of practice that my husband and I have together, we, it's common for us to hear the patient come back to us and say, you gave me things for my insomnia, you gave me a remedy for my arthritis or bone pains, but actually I am feeling better in my mind. I am not feeling stressed. I can Mm -hmm. handle things better. I see. So it's like, it really fits in very well with our Better Bones, Better Body program because we want to do something that's good for the entire body. And here at the Center for Better Bones, we constantly see that stress, worry, anxiety Mm -hmm. are some of the most damaging impacts. So in other words, a person might come to you and say, look, I'm losing bone, too much bone. Can you help me? And, but you might end up really, they might end up finding a new balance in their emotional, mental, spiritual state, everything altogether. Absolutely. Not only that they might end up, they will end up. 